Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Anthony Joshua staying at home. His next two fights confirmed for Wembley in England. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the game, game. notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the super chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work. Now, Anthony Joshua promoter Eddie Hearn, he posted it's a graphic. It says, Boxing's staying home. AJ commits his next two fights to the Wembley Stadium September 22nd and April 13th, 2019. So that's where he will be fighting. Eddie Hearn said in the caption, AJ's coming home, delighted to announce, and he tagged him, Anthony Joshua, next two fights will be at the National Stadium, Wembley Stadium, September 22nd and April 13th. September show announcement next week. So they're going to give more details about the opponent and information for the fans, I'm presuming. Now, the issue I have with this news is... I thought September was a non-starter, a no-go, because it was the week after Canelo Golovkin, when it came to Joshua potentially fighting Deontay Wilder. So, him fighting in September, and remember, if you remember, Eddie Hearn did interviews where he said, I don't want to give Joshua only eight weeks to train for Wilder, and eight weeks is not enough, it's not enough time to promote the show, September was not a good date. He said these things in regards to a fight with Deontay Wilder. So if September after Canelo and Golovkin got signed, sealed and delivered, which we've all known about for probably at least a month, that that fight finally went through after some difficult negotiations, then how come September is now back in the picture? Because again, when he was referring to Deontay Wilder, that potential fight for Joshua, he said that they took too long to sign the paperwork and get back and respond and by the time it was said and done that September was no longer a feasible date and they would have to move it to Cardiff, Wales in October or November and there was even some drama with the contract where the contract was sent to Team Wilder after they accepted the outline, the basis of the deal and Deontay Wilder's team said they received a contract with no dates, no venue. So. How are they stalling? So, it's not a good look for Team Joshua, as far as I'm concerned. You said September was not a good date for Wembley or whatnot, but now you're fighting and you're committing your fighter his next two fights to Wembley. So, that makes no sense. If he's able to fight September 22nd at Wembley still against an unknown person, which we're presuming is Alexander Povetkin, then certainly that could have been the stadium for the Wilder fight, which is further proof that, to me, Joshua's side didn't want to make the Wilder fight next. You guys let me know what you guys think. This is all information that could be found on Matchroom's Instagram or Eddie Hearn, where they're announcing this. And like I said, it just looks shaky because there was a constant problem. First, you didn't want to come to America for $50 million to fight Deontay Wilder. Then you said the fight has to be in the UK, and then negotiations were lagging or taking longer. You said September was no longer a good day for Wembley because the venue was booked up or something, so you would have to fight in Cardiff. That would be the only closed venue that you can use, like a like a outdoor or indoor venue that you can use, and that would be in October or November. And then all of that fell apart. The WBA, for some reason, after Wilder's team committed and had publicly said that they accepted, they jumped in the middle of the negotiations and ruled that a Povetkin fight must be mandated, signed, sealed, and delivered in 24 hours. And it's been over a week, and we still haven't had an official announcement. Now they're talking about the announcement is coming next week. So a lot of questions for Team Joshua at this particular moment. But that is the latest. Joshua will be fighting his next two fights at Wembley. Let me know what you guys think and if it makes sense to you. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego.
so I don't know. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.